Nina Haggerty Center is 15 years old. We've been in this building for, I think we're coming up on our eighth summer here in Edmonton on 118th Avenue. Our building is about 7,500 square feet. We've got four big studios and some offices and a gallery. So we have uh, three offices where um, people do their office work. This is Leslie Anna. She's helps with engaging volunteers and doing design and promotion stuff. We have a great big dragon that we built for uh, a community arts festival that happens here in our neighborhood. Every year there are two festivals. There's a fall festival called Kaleido and a winter festival called Deep Freeze. And every year Nina participates in those festivals in some fashion. Sometimes we participate in big public art projects this year we had an artist featured in their exhibition and uh, we do a lot of community-based festivals and projects here. We have a free family art night, free community art night, Alberta artists with brain injury work here. We just did a, a women's arts festival that one of our artists participated in. So not only is Nina a place where lots of people with developmental disabilities come to make art, it's also a place where the community can gather to do art making activity. So let me show you where we work. We have uh, two really big studios where people draw and paint. So uh, primarily wet and dry media on canvas or paper is what happens in these two rooms. Although we have a couple of computers uh, where people do things like make animated movies, like the movie you saw from Scott. We feature individual artists here, give them a little chance to shine in our kitchen. We also have some more exhibition space. So we have a, a, a little kitchen gallery named after my mom, who fills <laughs> our freezer with cookies. And uh, this this month we're featuring Abba Gabra. It was uh, Black History Month here in Canada last month, and so Abba really wanted us to have some of her images of famous uh, black people and that's what we're showing now this space in the kitchen is where the artists who come to Nina can put up the art they're proud of whenever they want this gallery is really open for people to use as they need it and likewise the lunchroom for us is, is an important part of the center aside from the fact that kitchens tend to be the place where people sit and talk and things like that at Nina, you can eat your lunch whenever you want. There is no set lunch time. We really do our best here to give people the feeling that they can decide what they want to make, how they want to make it, and eat whenever they feel like it. So providing people with that freedom to make their own decisions, their own choices, really helps us create an environment where people feel like it's up to me to decide what I'm making today. I'm not going to go to Paul or Cynthia or Brenda and ask them to tell me what to do. So Scott, just say hi. We're making that movie that we're sending to Wales. Here's Scott working in the studio. This tends to be his favorite spot in uh, in the Nina Hegarty Center. Working on a drawing today. Got anything you want to say? Hello. <laughs> so, a lot of drawing and painting happens in this room. And uh, it tends to be the mediums. The drawing and painting tend to be the place where we can really just say, hey, why don't you go for it? That doesn't work for every artist who comes here. Some people want and are used to getting a little more support than that. So printmaking, fiber and ceramics offer us the opportunity to show people technique and process and how to use different materials, which is sometimes a good bridge into uh, how do I make my own art.